ever wonder? Today we are here with Firefighter Tim, who's going to show us around a fire truck. Hi everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you our 104 foot tall ladder truck. First, we're gonna take a look at the inside of the fire truck. So on the inside of the fire truck, we have our flashlights and our radio. Now each seat here has its own air pack. So when we go into a fire, we have to put our air packs on. So the air packs are just like a backpack. This is a thermal imaging camera. Oh cool, how does that work? So a thermal imaging camera shows you the temperature of anything it's pointed at. This helps us know where the heat is coming from. On the outside of the truck, there are many compartments that hold important tools and equipment. And this is the pump panel that controls how water is distributed for the different hoses on the truck. Wow, there's a lot of different colors. There are lots of different colors. The colors of the hose matches the color of the pump handle, so we know which ones to turn on and off to put out the fire. This hose here allows water from the fire hydrant to flow into the fire truck. The water is then pumped out of one of the many hoses on the fire truck. Our truck has seven different hoses ready to use whenever they are needed. Fire trucks are also equipped with lots of tools to help us with many different situations, not just house fires. Some tools help us poke through ceilings or get through locked doors. I didn't realize firefighters responded to so many different calls. And these large outriggers help steady the truck while we're using the ladder and bucket on top to reach tall buildings. These are the controls we use to raise and lower the ladder. Wow, that looks tall. A firefighter has to wear a lot of protective gear to stay safe when fighting a fire. Remember not to be afraid of firefighters, even when we are wearing these big, heavy clothes. We're here to help. Thanks, Firefighter Tim. I sure learned a lot today. Until next time.